seer. I'm the cultural advisor for the Confederated Tribes of Grand Island. I've been carving for about 15 years. Our Chinook and art form is uh, special because of where it lives. It only lives in a certain place in, in, uh, on the Columbia River and up the Willamette River. Once you come through the Willamette Valley, that, that style of basket making to stone carving changes once you get to about the um, uh, Willamette Falls. From there, it goes down, down to the Columbia River up to the Dalles and then all the way down to the mouth is where this art form comes from. And so after that, it turns into Salish, Salish art. You see a little bit of Chinookan um, form mixed in with uh, some of their Salish stuff, but it's very little. After that, it just Salish all the way up in towards Alaska. When we look at the difference between Salish and Chinookan art, um, uh, for example, their totem poles. When you see their totem poles, you'll see um, like a frog, a wolf, a whale, an eagle, thunderbird. Um, and when you look at ours, ours are more considered power poles. So they may have several different faces or um, maybe an animal carving on them, but they're usually not stacked in that order. Um, and a lot of our stuff was um, maybe to uh, recognize a, a person of high rank or, or something they did in their in their lives to honor them and so you would see those different types of carvings were specific for people um, when you get up to Salish it's talking about stories um, myths uh, creation stories uh, and something that maybe happened to their village so you don't see you don't see that kind of that form in, in our carving any form of artwork that you see in Chinook and you're going to see tons of triangles on everything. It's kind of a way of enhancing it. I guess you would say it's almost like putting diamonds on something. But also you'll see that uh, that triangle pattern is also uh, like the Thunderbird. The Thunderbird, you, you, when you look at it, you see a lot of people see triangles, but they don't see the zigzag pattern that's in it also. And that zigzag pattern is that, that Thunderbolt from the Thunderbird. Um, stories of our people our Chinookan people coming from, actually being created from the Thunderbird, coming from the Thunderbird people. So you'll see a lot of that, a lot of that in about everything you look at in Chinookan art. It started out with um, doing some small carvings of like uh, spoon ladles. Uh, and that was with Tony Johnson and Adam McIsaac. And um, then it moved to doing some masks and then um, uh, actually doing the pole that's up there in front of the longhouse. That was an apprentice apprenticeship that I worked on and a handful of other people came in and helped out on that. This is like pretty much the only tribe besides Chinook and a little bit at Shoalwater Bay that you actually see this form living within the tribes. With all the artists doing all their things from glass work to blankets to all kinds of stuff, copper um, and jewelry uh, in this art form, um, it's really starting to come alive again. When you used to see it throughout our rivers, um, throughout the petroglyphs and the different stone carvings um, and uh, stuff that was in our longhouses and stuff a long time ago. It used to be up and down the river and you just don't see that anymore. And so um, I think with all the artists and the things that they're doing, they're starting to bring it back and live in place where it comes from. <laughs>